Before we start uh, creating content for digital uh, images, video, text, sound, we have to think who is this content targeted at? And this is where we have a concept of something that's called a buyer persona. A buyer doesn't necessarily need to buy the content from you, so if you're a charity that doesn't mean that this individual has to transact with you financially. It could be simply somebody who is engaging with your content or buying into it through the interaction that they have with the organization. So buyer personas are created through a long history of uh, purchase orders or interactions with your organization. And once you have defined a buyer persona, some organizations create a cardboard cutout of that person and actually have physically that individual in the room so that whenever they are communicating to their target audience, they are actually speaking to this particular buyer persona. A buyer persona is uh, comprising of basic information such as their name, where they might be living, what is their current role, what are their positions of the, uh, within the organization. So for example, in a business-to-business -business environment, what are the decisions that that particular individual might be involved in, what are their cha challenges, what are the typical issues that they might be facing on a day-to-day -day basis that your products and services are helping them to solve. Obviously, you are also trying to understand how this buyer persona uh, goes through the decision-making process. What are the mediums that they're, they're consulting? What magazines, what websites do they frequent? And when they're on your website, what are the sections that are of, of most interest to them? The online buyer persona at the candidate falls into two different areas. One of them is a passive candidate. So it's somebody who is in a role or in a job at the moment, who is, who is skilled um, and who may have a motivation to move on, be it an increase in terms of their status or their power, or they're looking for an increase in terms of their salary and their remuneration. So that passive candidate exists for us in many different ways across a lot of different uh, digital channels and we target content and activity through uh, our digital channels in order to tap into those types of candidates and, uh, and attract them um, to us when they make the decision that they want to make, move forward and get a new role. On the other side we have um, an active candidate base in terms of buyer persona, so they're more active, more engaging, more, uh, more curious in terms of the roles that we're advertising and the different messages that we're putting out there and again they exist in different areas and different channels and, and, and you know, we, we have to try and attract those um, through different methods of SEO, uh, paid for activity in terms of the job advert, advert boards that we're on or the different social media messages or newsletters that we send out as a business. When they come in to the candidate, we treat uh, our different buyer personas in different ways so that we can, you know, for example, for passive candidates, give more information and give a more of a consultative approach uh, for those candidates. But for an active candidate, they tend to know more what they're after and the type of role that they're, they're, they want to move into or the next step that they want to make. So we adapt how we work behind the scenes to, uh, uh, to, to convert these candidates in different ways.